Hello everyone, welcome to Teleglitch, Die More Edition. Okay, so this is a top-down, roguelike, action, procedurally generated horror game. I guess that's a decent description of it. Um, and you play as a scientist who is the lone survivor on a distant planet where lots of disturbing research has been done, as we are about to find out from this text. So let's begin. Militech Corporation Database Access Entry, Military Research and Training Facility and Number 2097. Location, Planet Medusa 1C, Deep Space Region, Distance to Earth, 30 light years. Research Fields, Teleportation Technology, Necrotic Tissue Activation Technologies. That one sounds lovely, doesn't it? Necrotic Tissue Activation Technologies. In other words, zombies, or things like that. Genetic research and cloning for military purposes. Great. Military experimentation and training for robots, something, something, other non-human combatants. Last status update. Report on teleportation experiment error. Report on facility administration AI malfunction. Emergency signal received. Request for military rescue team. Rescue team sent. A Spatial anomalies detected. Communication lost shortly after arrival. All personnel and rescue team assumed dead. All operations abandoned due to negative profit outlook. Planet Medusa 1C quarantined indefinitely. Great, in other words, everything went to shit. They're abandoning the place because it's not making any money. It's quarantined, and now I'm trapped on the planet as the only person left alive. This should be fun. Okay, so yeah, this game I had heard a bit about before, and I thought it looked pretty cool, and then I just kind of forgot about it. And then it popped up on Steam, and I thought, oh yeah, that game. And it was the Die More Edition, which is apparently improved from the old edition. So I just bought it, and I'm really excited to get to it. So, so far, the only thing I've done is played the tutorial... Yep, the only thing I've done is play the tutorial, which was short. Uh, the game seems... At least the game's controls and all that seem pretty simple. So I'll save you the annoyance of just watching me go through the tutorial, but I have not actually played the game. So, let's go. Alright, looks like you can unlock... Reach level 5 to unlock. Reach level 5. Okay, so is this like... Sort of like Binding of Isaac, roguelike sort of thing, where you have like multiple dungeons, and you keep like going down or up or something? I'm not sure. I, I don't really know much about the game, I just know that's supposed to be really good and it sounds really cool. Uh, yeah, let's go. We were working on a master teleporter that could transport you anywhere to unlimited distances, but something went wrong. Something came through from the other side. First, we thought it was a minor glitch, but it quickly turned into a nightmare. The facility AI became aggressive and the military robots turned on us. The space of the complex started warping. Rooms and hallways would randomly reorganize themselves as if following some twisted pattern. I decided to seal myself in here and wait for help. I've been hiding out here for weeks, but nobody came, and I'm running out of food. My only chance is to use the regular teleporter, teleporters of the facility to get to the master teleporter and then teleport myself back to Earth. Okay... I see. So the regular teleporters, I guess, will probably take me in between the levels. And my end goal is the master teleporter, which will actually take me back to Earth. Okay, cool. I didn't have time to grab any extra weapons before I went to hiding. However, I've used my time here efficiently and modified my standard Militech knife with fusion batteries and crude wiring to act as a close combat taser. And I've still got a box of chocolate. Well, screw the taser, I'll just take the chocolate. Okay, so I have a taser to defend myself with, and chocolate. And a bomb. Shock blade. A sharpened slate of metal connected to electric generator that delivers deadly shocks with each strike. Okay, so I'm assuming this thing has unlimited ammo, because I don't see any ammo count. Okay, cool. It Honestly, it sounds terrible because it's a close-range weapon. I'd prefer a gun, but okay. The last box of chocolate on the planet. 
I'm guessing that heals me? And 250 grams of highly explosive material used in military testing. Great, gotta make sure not to blow myself up. Okay, so yeah, this game has really a really interesting visual style. It's got a retro look to it. Obviously, it's pixel art. However, there's a weird sense of fluidity about it. it. Like, everything feels like it's always moving. Like, the view is zooming in and out. It's kind of rotating a bit. Everything's kind of shifting. I think I'm pushing this box. I think that's a box. Yeah. So it's very strange looking. Even though it's retro looking, there's some weird modern looking stuff to it. Like, I almost wonder if this is actually a 3D world that just kind of looks 2D with the way everything's shifting. I'm not sure. I can't really tell. Anyway, given that it's called uh, Die More Edition, I'm expecting that I'm going to die a lot, and it is a roguelike, so I mean, what are roguelikes, roguelikes for if not dying? So, we'll see. Okay, looks like I'm in a, like, a computer room. What is this? Oh, I just picked up an empty can. Empty can! Can I throw it? Nope. Uh, what is drop? Is it Q? It's Q. Oh, but wait a minute. I might be able to use that for something. That's right, you can craft in this game. I just kind of forgot. If you press C, you can see what you can connect it, uh, combine it with. Looks like I can't combine the shock blade with anything. Can't combine, combine the chocolate. Can't combine... I keep saying combine. Can't, can't combine anything. There. Okay, let's venture out and see what the hell's gonna bite my head off. Hmm. I'm not, I'm not really sure what to expect as far as encounters go. So far, though, I'm really impressed with how... how much movement there is in the game. You know, it's not just like a really basic static 2D background. Like I said, everything's shifting, doors close, and you can see like the black moving away, the, the fog of war, and it looks like items and refuse on the ground can be pushed around, which is really cool. Alright, nothing back here. I hear water. I have a feeling I'm going to be running for my life pretty soon. Uh... What am I hearing? Okay, let's not go that way. Okay, apparently it's the only way I can go. Uh, let's go that way. What? the hell is going on up here? Wait a minute, is this how you use the shock blade? No. Yeah, the way the uh, controls work with weapons, just based on the tutorial, seems to be that uh, if you just left click while using a weapon, it'll just use like your melee weapon, your shock blade or your, your normal knife or whatever. And then if you hold down right click, you get this and you get to actually aim and shoot the weapon. Uh, but with the shock blade, the right-click thing appears to do nothing. Alright, what the fuck is that noise? What is that? That does not look good. And apparently I can't go past that, which I don't think is a bad thing. Alright. Uh, what does this do? What is this? The teleportation technologies... What is that, M1? The teleportation range has always been limited by the hyper-difficult mathematical calculations required for plat uh, performing each jump. Each, <clears throat> each unit of extra distance makes the required calculation exponentially harder, making teleportation impractical, if not impossible, for distances over one kilometer. Alright. I guess the master teleporter must be a very expensive and powerful tool, then. If it's going to be able to transport me 30 light years back to Earth. Alright, well, nothing's bitten my face off yet. 
land of Medusa 1C. Indigenous life forms. Biodiversity of Medusa 1C is literally is literally minimal, but well accustomed to the deadly atmospheric conditions. So far, only two life forms have been discovered, and both are lethal to humans. Great. These species are cat-sized amoeba that use corrosive chemicals to consume anything organic. Cat-sized amoebas, amoebas that use corrosive chemicals to consume anything organic. Welp. I'm organic. Oh, great. Ah, ah. That just took two of my hit points. But I'm okay. Okay, and now what is that noise? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And now I have 92 hit points. Damn it. Okay, these noises are terrifying. I don't know if that's just, like, machinery or something that's going to kill me. But it doesn't sound good. I don't like it. Oh my god. That, I, I feel like the view is kind of rotating. Which is really weird and disorienting. Like, I can feel it shifting in a weird way. Alright, well, there's three different ways to go. Let's go this way. Oh my god. Oh, holy shit, that shift. Wow. That rotation's making me a bit sick. That feels... it feels wrong. We, oh, shit. Uh, what the... Hmm, didn't seem like it was chasing me at first. Okay, I don't know where this came from. Anyway, anyway, yeah, I think it's actually a really neat idea to disorient the player in a sort of... Oh, damn it. In sort of a survival horror game. Uh, let's just go in. Oh, fuck. Wow, I have 60 hit points. I am going to die soon. Uh, explosives... Great. Nailbox? Sure. Ah, oh, sweet silence. Militech Corporation, one of the largest military corporations of the modern world. Militech covers the entire war industry from research and training to supply, production, and strategic operations. Militech employs over 1 billion personnel all over the known space and is estimated to own over 15% of the total resources of human civilization. Over 15% of the total resources of human civilization. That is a lot of power for one company to have. Or corporation. Oh my god, I can't even think with that noise. Okay, can I combine anything? Uh, what is that? Combine... Oh yeah, you can combine, like, two small explosives to, com to make one big one. Which is not something I want to do. So, nope. So I can always throw these explosives if I want to. But I'm thinking I should save them for something bigger. Let me take the chocolate and see if that'll heal me. Wow, okay. That, that was some really effective chocolate. That just healed me at least 40 hit points. Maybe I shouldn't have used it until I was lower, because I don't actually know how much that heals. Hmm. Alright, let's go in this door. I think that, yeah, I think the noise is coming from these. These must be generators or something. Alright, who wants to fuck with me? Is this a door? That is a door. Okay. Oh, oh, fuck. Wow, okay, that was terrible. It's alright, I'll learn their patterns. Oh god, so many doors. Alright, let's go in this one. Planet Medusa 1C, small, almost Earth-sized planet with no significant resources and far from colonized space. Its planetary stock price was incredibly low, making it a perfect spot for Militech research. 
Uh, being far away from any settlement gave an added bonus for redu of reduced distraction for scientists in the facility. Facility AI-1. The Facility AI was originally designed to be nothing more than a good administration system. However, the key aspect of intelligence is evolution. After a while, the AI learned so much it started helping us out with other things besides administration. It researched new weapons, helped build robots, and even designed architecture for new facility buildings. It sounds nice, until the AI went crazy. What is that noise? Bleep boop bleep. Some sort of computer. Oh god. And now we're going around in a circle. Come on. Alright, that actually wasn't too bad. Gotta kind of, like, run around in a circle at just the right speed. What the fuck did I just hear? Oh, more. Oh god, there's a lot of these. Why do I get the feeling that they're, like, growing out of something indefinitely? Like, unlimitedly? Do I want to go into that? I don't even know what that is. Is that instant death? Oh yeah, I forgot. You can press tab to get a view of every th where you've been, I think. Actually, does this show you where you've been? Um... I... Yes, it does. I'm not sure. Hmm. Why do I see like there's something here? What is here? A little sliver of light. Hmm. <laughs> Holy crap! I, it might be more effective to strategically attack, rather than just, like, spamming it. I don't know, that seemed to work better. Garden hub under construction. Oh my god, everything's rotating again. Ugh. That rotation is so weird feeling. Alright. It doesn't say anything about what this is. Alright, you know what? I'm never gonna find out what this is if I don't try it, so fuck it. Let's go. I think I just died. You knew this was going to happen. <laughs> Okay, now we know. I don't know what that is, but it killed me. Yes. Accuracy not available because I didn't shoot anything. No secrets, no items combined. No monsters in void, whatever that means. I killed two zombies, a bunch of mutants, and a big mutant, apparently. Okay, and that's the end of the game. So, see... No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alright, let's go again. It is a roguelike, after all, so death is expected, and it is randomly generated... So it will never be the same. Well, almost never. Yeah, I think you start... Yeah, it seems like you start with a random weapon. Um, this historic hunting rifle was owned by an important royal family hundreds of years ago until it was the only piece remaining of the family's huge wealth and gifted to one of the Medusa 1C scientists by her grandfather. The gun used to hang on the wall 
in one of the facilities, uh, recreation rooms, and I grabbed it along with two boxes of shells before I went into hiding. Wow, so I got really lucky, and I got really unlucky last time. Before, I had a taser. Now, I have a fucking hunting rifle. I'll take it. With 30 shots. Wow. Empty can. Why not? Anything I can combine? Nope. The, the very long john rifle? Really? The very long john? Antique elephant rifle. Uses heavy rifle bullets. Okay, so this thing seems to hold one shot, so I'm guessing it just holds one whopper of a shot and then you have to reload. So, slow firing, I think? Still a hell of a lot better than a taser. And I can still stab him with a knife. Okay, now I know not to touch that stuff. I want to see how new places are revealed. So you see a door, you go in, and then it shows up? Yeah, okay, you enter the room, and then it shows up on the map. Oh, hi! What's going on over there? Oh, it's death stuff. Not gonna touch it. Uh, what does it say? Males? Males? Okay, a note to Chief Supply Officer. Have the supply ship bring in double bring in a double load of internal construction supplies, including 400 boxes of standard nails. Apparently, the demand for nails have gone up has gone up drastically during the past weeks. Huh? Is there a nail gun in this game? Oh shit! Whoa! What the? Okay. Uh. Wow. This is gonna be kind of hard. Holy shit! Or fuck, I'll just stab you then. Jesus. That's harder than I thought. And I need to press reload. Okay. Play Medusa 1C, small... Oh, I've already read that. Maybe I should stab these. Actually, let me try this. Okay, that was nice. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't stab them. Tube. Emergency evacuation request pending. Request denied. Standard resupply drops to facility are performed every five months via automatic transport ships. Current status: all operations abandoned due to negative profit outlook. Planet Medusa 1C quarantined indefinitely. Great, thanks. It stopped making money, so they decided to leave everything here. You know, I have to question the the response of leaving this place here, even though it has a negative profit outlook. Because, see, here's the thing. You have weapon testing going on, you have a bunch of fucking monsters. And they have a master teleporter that is capable of teleporting anything, anywhere. Abandoned research facility, monsters, and a place, a tool, that could teleport them anywhere. Isn't that a bit of a security hazard? Aren't they worried about the monsters somehow getting themselves to Earth, maybe? Yeah. Doesn't seem safe. Alright, can I combine the tube with anything? No. God damn it, my aim sucks. Oh, fuck. Okay, there we go. Wow. What the hell is that? Canned meat. Oh, it tastes like cardboard and stays edible for 200 years. Oh, holy shit. Hey. Hold on. Hold on. Preparing myself. Gotta reload. God damn it, I missed again. Alright, fuck you. I, th I will get better at aiming at some point. Some point. N not yet.
I think that's a zombie. Because the last life told me that I killed some zo- oh, holy shit. It told me that I killed some zombies, but I don't remember seeing anything sp well, specifically zombie-like. However, those do look like humans, so I'm guessing they're the zombies. Okay, where are these coming from? What the hell did I just hear? Oh, it's a zombie. Okay, not good. Alright, hold on. Uh, uh. Okay, that is not very effective. Holy shit. I see running is your key skill in this game. Whew. Well, that explosive looked impressive, but didn't really kill anything. I could see why you might want to combine it. Alright, I'm gonna wait till I'm a bit more hurt before I use the canned meat. Ooh, what, ooh. More explosives and nail box. Uh, 50... Times seven point whatever nails. Okay, can I combine anything? Nope. All right, I guess I need a nail gun or something. Bleep boop bleep. Hold on, need a drink. Ah. Much better. <laughs> do, 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 do. Just taking a nice stroll. Just gonna die very shortly by something horrible that's gonna eat my face. Or spray acid on my face. And then eat the acid goop. After it melts off. I don't know, it's gonna do something to my face. Well, I know where that leads. Death. Don't think I've been here. No, I have not. Oh god, that rotation. Ugh. Ooh. 9mm clip. More explosives and a med kit. Oh, shit. Anyone else? Okay. Alright, let me see how much this canned meat heals. Not much. Universal tissue regeneration system plus smells like mint. Hmm. Well, it's called Medkit 50, so I'm guessing it heals 50 hit points, so I'm not going to use it yet. Alright, anything I can combine? I can make an ultra explosive. What the hell? Let's do it. Damn it. Rotation threw me off. Okay, I'm almost out of ammo. I have two shots left. This is not good. I do have an explosive. And I have a nail box with nothing to use it with. And I have 9mm ammo with nothing to use it with. But you know what? What's there to worry about? Because I have a tube. Yay! A tube. Natural condition... Okay, I haven't read this one. Nope, natural conditions. The planet's surface features extremely high temperatures, deadly radiation, and poisonous atmosphere. This means all personnel should stay inside the research facility. Exiting the facility without adequate pr uh, protective equipment is instantly fatal. Wait, is that the thing I came across? Was that... Like, a breach or something, and it killed me? Wait, if that was a breach, then I wouldn't be able to breathe, right? So that doesn't make any sense. A lot of doors. Let's go this way. Never mind, let's go this way. It's 
so many doors. Teleglitch space-time anomaly. Uh, initial analysis summary. These blobs of black and colorful anomaly seem to be the result, the only result of today's experiment with unlimited range teleportation. We have been investigating this phenomenon for the past two hours and think it might have profound implications for theoretical physics. The blackness seems to be literally an inside-out space-time curvature and opens a range of possibilities for research. My colleague has already suggested we could weaponize it by capturing the field into super-intense wave and pressure containers to be used for planetary bombardment. Oh, and if you touch it, your brain explodes. Well, thank you for telling me that now after my brain already exploded. Right, well, if this is the result of the unlimited range teleportation, which it is, do I really want to be using it? What if I open up some horrible black hole on Earth and kill everyone? Ah, oh, well, who cares? Oh, shit. Uh, this is not good. This is not good. Holy shit. Medkit, just used it. Uh, let's run. Can you outrun things, ever? Oh, wait, explosive. Explosive. Okay, uh, boom. Oh. Whew, that was close. Right, well, the next thing I encounter is probably going to kill me. If it's... If it is either powerful or many, it will kill me. I have practically no weapon and no healing items. Training yard. I don't think I've gone down. No. Hmm. Alright, let's go back. And... Let's go this way. Yeah, let's go this way. Oh, great. Alright, not doing too bad. 90 hit points. Not bad, actually. meat. Lots of canned meat. Must have been a storage room for food, I guess. Pantry. What is that? Teleglitch space-time anomaly. Teleglitch space-time anomaly. God, I can't talk right today. These blo All right, I already read that. I believe I just picked up shells, didn't I? Did I? I just used a canned meat. If I did pick up shells, it's not for the very long john, so oh well. Hold on, no, not that. What is this? Ooh, AGL-1, what is that? Shoots adhesive grenades, useful useful against swarms. Nice! That, yeah, that sounds bad against single enemies, but really nice against these swarms of amoebas that I've been encountering. Let's move that to the top. Okay, anything I can combine? Nope. Alright, I don't know how this thing's gonna work, because I've never used it before. We'll find out. Um, it's literally... Oh, I've already read that.
Alright, where can I go? This way? Nope. Where can I go? Been there, been there, been there. Where have I not been? Okay, I've got some... I guess the red doors are the ones that are places I haven't been. So let's head back down. My god, that rotation is so disorienting. Alright, I've not been here. I don't want to use a sticky grenade in an indoor location like that. Uh, okay, it looks like the like little bracket thing doesn't show up if you've already read it. That explains why it hasn't been showing up for some of these, because it looks like they've, they've been ones I've already read. Alright, let's go this way. Okay, now it's time to use it. Uh... Th that's good against swarms? Are you sure, game? That doesn't seem good against swarms. It makes them freak out and not be part of the group, so then they go off and explode somewhere else. Maybe if I timed it just right by shooting it against a wall, but it seems like the explosive radius is really small. So I have a feeling that's not going to work. But anyway, it's better than nothing. Ooh. That's just more canned meat. Why, do I, why am I finding so much canned meat? Oh, fuck. Oh shit, it's still alive. Okay, whew. It's dead. I don't know what the hell that thing was, but it was big. Get out of my way, table. Or bench, whatever you are. Alright, I'm gonna stab you. That didn't go so well. Whatever. Uh, something in here. Yeah, that's not effective at all against groups. And nothing. Secret wall. <laughs> that's funny. I was just thinking that at my last death, it mentioned secrets found. And I was thinking, is it kind of like Binding of Isaac where there's secret rooms that you can find? Facility facility area contains some rooms that are quickly walled off with temporary materials, resulting in damaged-looking walls that can be destroyed with ranged weapons. These sealed rooms sometimes contain useful equipment, including weapons. Okay, damaged-looking walls that can be destroyed with ranged weapons. Okay, what's a damaged-looking wall look like? Given the game's look, this might be hard to spot. Like, is this a damaged looking wall? I'm pretty sure that's just a blocked off path. But, I don't know. Let's try it. Nope. Hmm. Well, I'll try to keep an eye out, but I'm probably going to forget. What did I just hear? Oh, great. Oh, great. Oh, fuck. Hold on. Alright, that helped a bit. Whew. 
Whew. Right, well even if I find a secret wall now, I have nothing to blow it up with. Unless I can stab it to pieces, but I doubt it. It's a ranged weapon. Wall, wall, whoa, wait a minute. Oh, This looks like a damaged wall. But I have nothing to blow it up with. Alright, well, Garden Hub under construction. I'll have to remember to come back here. We're gonna have some sort of explosive. Some blowy up device. Which I might get right now. Clip. Uh, ooh, shotgun. Hello, I have ten. Oh, wow, okay, holds ten, and I have ten more. Fully automatic. I'm gonna put you to the top. Alright, well, let me try this on the wall. I don't know if you need an explosive or just any ranged weapon. Let's see how this thing works. Hmm. Either that's not the damaged wall that they're talking about, or it does need to be some sort of an explosive. I don't know. I'm gonna be stingy with my ammo, though, because I have decent health and I have some healing things with the canned meat. So I think right now ammo is more scarce than health. So if I encounter, like, a, you know, a few amoebas or something, I'm just gonna stab them and save this for, like, a boss fight or something. Holy shit, this looks official. Where am I? Ooh, this will take me to the next place. Anything here? Anything that wants to eat my face off? Doesn't seem like it. Alright, let me fully explore this place before I leave. Looks like there's one... I just realized that definitely... In the garden hub, it definitely looks like a destroyed, like a damaged wall. Just in the map itself, you can see it. It looks like it's just been quickly covered up and there's like a fracture. Hmm. Alright, well there's one place I have not been. Which is here. Let's check it out before I go. Did I just say I would stab them? I guess I should actually stab them then. I forgot. And nothing. Okay, time to go. All right, to the second level for the first time. Oh, so you get to choose which way you go. Hmm. Teleport to Plankton Farm, Abandoned Sector. Teleport to Military Biology Sector. Huh. Well, I don't have enough information to know which one would be better or what the difference is, so... Let's go to the plankton farm. Uh, right? What? I'm pressing D. Oh, right click? No, what? I'm confused. Oh, do I need to... Like, step on... Oh, okay, do I need to step onto one of these teleportation platforms? Is that what these are? Okay, so this would be the one right. <laughs> Holy shit. The situation is bad. The non-human combatants are everywhere and they attack me on sight. I'm going to try and move through the plankton farm complex next. That sector was used to feed a type of military critters... Uh, we were cloning and developing about eight years ago. However, the sector was abandoned after the Critter Project ended. The perfect war animal prototype was shipped away with its design blueprints for production 
and there was no need for producing extra plankton anymore. If I'm lucky, the sector should still be deserted, and I might be able to slip through unnoticed. Ha! 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 Yeah, that's not going to happen. Level complete. 36.6% accuracy, that is... shit. I combined one item, found no secrets, no monsters in the void, whatever that means, and killed two big mutants. Cool. Holy crap, this stuff is loud, oh my god. The last critter project, the final war critter produced from vanilla animals, was a mix of DNA from boars, sharks, rhinos, and some tentacled creature from planet... Yurquinix 2? It was a truly majestic creature designed to wear composite heavy armor and use heavy-duty lasers and mini-guns. The costs were enormous, as you can imagine, however. Designed to wear composite heavy armor and use heavy-duty lasers and miniguns. Why do I think that's a boss and I'm going to fight it? Oh my god. Holy shit. Wow, this thing is not very powerful. Holy shit! Oh my god! And now I'm out of ammo. Fuck. Okay. I'm gonna have to stab them all. Let me take the canned meat. Oh, there's even a big creature. Great. I don't think it's dead, is it? Okay, it's dead. Great, so I have no ammo and I have 52 health and nothing to heal with. Well, I'm fucked. Oh, but I have a nail box, so that's great. Ooh, a box. I like boxes. What is this? An empty can. Great. What the fuck was that? Hold on, take the shit. Oh, God. What did I just grab? I Oh, fuck. Uh, ooh, grenades for this thing. And I missed. I fucking missed again. Wow. Seriously? Okay, couldn't miss that one. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, well, health is limited. Ammo is not at the moment. At least not as limited, so I'm just gonna shoot him. Ah, <sighs> fuck. Alright, what did I get? Uh, I got the explosive and some grenades for that, which are almost gone. Great. Wonderful. Main plankton birthing tank. I wonder if something else has been birthed in there. Some great big evil. Oh, hello. I didn't mean to do that. God damn it. Well, I got lucky with that one. And I missed. Great. Well, I'm gonna die. <laughs> like, I'm definitely gonna die. MG. Oh, that's a machine gun. Okay. But it's only got 30 shots. Alright, let me move that to the top. Move that up there. My two usable things. A machine gun with one magazine and one explosive. Let's go up here. See how powerful this is. Uh, oh, shit. I got stuck in something. Not very accurate, that's for sure. 
Okay, moderately powerful. Looks like it takes a few shots. Let me guess, canned meat. Of course. Oh god. God damn it. Alright, can I craft anything? W wait, what? I can combine four empty cans with four empty cans to create a plate? Thick steel plate good for building something. Okay, sure, why not? Not sure what good that does me. Um, that does me absolutely no good, actually. It's used for something in the future, but not right now. So in the short term, it doesn't matter. Alright, are there any broken walls? I don't see any. Nope. Or secret walls, I guess I should say. Ooh. Oh, it's just another tube. Oh, whoa. Wait, so if I combine the grenade launcher thing with some tubes, I can create a better grenade launcher? Shoots three adhesive grenades, useful against swarms of enemies. Sure, why not? Don't have any grenades, but oh well. Teleporter location marked on map. Ooh. Wait, isn't... Isn't that where I came from? Oh, no, that... Yeah, that's, that's where I came from. This is the next one. Okay. Well... I'm pretty sure trying to speedrun to the end would not be a good idea. So... I don't think I'm going to try to run there. I think I'm just going to keep exploring everything. I'm pretty sure that's how it usually was in Binding of Isaac. Like, typically, you didn't want to rush through the game because you'd end up underpowered because you wouldn't get all the power-ups and items and stuff like that. Except in some very limited circumstances, like I think towards the end of the game, when enemies started taking, like, one full heart away from you every time you got hit and stuff like that, it might have been a good idea to blow through stuff really fast. But obviously that's an entirely different game, but I can't help but think of that when I'm thinking of whether I should just run through or not. And given that I have low health, almost no ammo, and I've barely crafted anything, I'm thinking I probably should continue to explore until I'm more powerful. I don't know. I mean, the enemies feel like in this level they've gotten way harder already. So I'm thinking if I go to the next level and I have the same weapons and almost no ammo, I'm just going to be just destroyed. So, yeah, I'm going to continue to explore. Oh, shit. Is there one left? Did I get him? Oh, god damn it. Okay, alright, alright. And meat. And I'm back have to having nothing of anything. Great. Water boilers, maybe there's something good in here. Nope. Oh, wait. Oh, shit, what the fuck is that? Uh... Okay, I'm dead. I am fucking dead. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. If I can run... T if I can run to the teleporter, I might be able to stay alive. Otherwise, I'm fucked. Unless I can grab everything out of that... Storage container? I'm gonna try. I don't know what I just took. What the fuck did I just take? Did I even take anything? I don't know. I don't think I did. Alright, goodbye everyone.
I think I'm getting there. I hope I'm getting there, because I have quite the train. Hey, 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 no, holy shit. That's not the door, this is the door. Holy shit. Wow. I just had a thought. What if you, like, ran through the entire level, trained everything with you, and used massive explosives on them? Would that be a good idea? I feel like it might. Kind of too late for that, though. The Six-Legged Battle Mutants 3. What? Then one battle mutant starts its life cycle as truly tiny shrimp. Inside an egg filled with forms of various plankton, the shrimps... Uh, the shrimps grow and become a master killer as it fights the other plankton inside its egg. By the time it, uh, by the time M1 hatches, it bites off somebody's face. Okay, wonderful. Um. I, is this the teleporter right here up above? Okay. Whew. Smell of damp... I don't even know where this is taking me. The smell of damp plankton brought back old memories of when I first came to the facility. Idealistic and full of enthusiasm. If I had only taken the job on Athena 6, an ocean planet covered with warm tropical islands, life would have been a lot easier on that planet. They were producing personal companion robots over there, with designs ranging from French maids to personal entertainment tentacle monsters. Oh well. <laughs> Anyway, next up is Robotic Hardware Assembly. This was a place for tech workers and hardware-minded people, all dealing with nanochip wizardry and interesting metal bits. It's a good thing we were creating mostly separate parts here and not fully functioning... Uh, and not fully functional battle robots. I would not like to fight Militech battle robots. Neither do I. Pretty good accuracy. Three big mutants, okay. And a giant zombie. However, I'm still fucked. Robot AI protocols. It was realized almost a hundred years ago that no true intelligence, artificial or natural, if there is any difference between those, does not exist without individuality. This means also that robots... that robot keep... This means also that the robot keeps learning and acquiring experience throughout its military career. Incidentally, this has made intact robot heads or brains especially valuable for battlefield scavengers. Hmm. Can you actually go back? No, I didn't think so. Not that I'd want to. God, please don't take me back there. The Teleglitch Experiment 5. It seems we caught the worst possible molecule to transport back to our lab. <laughs> as soon as the teleportation was complete, the molecule went through the composite walls of the transport container and somehow connected with the hardware of the teleporter. The teleporter software has gone completely broken and we are unable to reset it. We decided to have this, the facility AI to clear up the software mess and reset the teleporter. Hmm. The worst possible molecule to transport back to our lab. I... What the fuck? Are, oh! Okay, then. I don't know what those were, but they shot me. Battle robots, maybe? One can never be fast enough to outrun death. You were not fast enough. Indeed, I was not. And there ends life number two. But hey, first life, I died because my brain exploded inside of the void or whatever the hell that was. And in my second life, I actually got to the second level. Or actually, no, wait, I got to the third level. And then I got shot. Okay. Game over.